Kendrick, the Dallas Cowboys get back on track yesterday in a – what was the season on the line? Season was – for Mike McCarthy, the season on the line. If you, know, if you don't notice, ask Jerry in his interview. The season was basically on the line for him. <laughs> Well, we uh we were here in studio last night. And shout out to the uh Southern Catfish, bought oh. some delicious uh ca- hey listen, if EA say catfish is good, you can take it to the bay. You can you can vouch for it. Vosh got a little taste of it. He said it's good too. It was very good. Yeah. Um, thank you to them for uh catering uh last night's uh meal last night. Mm-hmm. But uh mm-hmm. yeah, cowboys go out there and uh beat the beat the charge. What was it, 2017? 20 to yeah, 2017. 2017. Mm-hmm. Great win going into the uh, bye week. Mike McCarthy. Well, I happened. don't know. I thought it was a great win. I'm pretty sure Tobias thought it was a good win. I don't know. Uh, oh, certain people didn't think certain, it was a good certain someone on that computer screen oh. and someone else in the studio and even someone else at home sick. All of you guys thought it was. Oh, and then I just you, I just look at tendency. You used to get for style pointing a win. I ain't style pointing a win. I'm just looking at tendency. They, 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 they didn't like the, the gritty win, which uh, I, I just look at tendencies that may cost you wins later on in the season. We face better competition, like um, how what 10, 10 plus penalties again? No, I mean, that's fine, but I'm telling oh, you, right okay, now, penalties, that's fine. Okay, no, I'm fine. saying I get I understand your point, that's a valid point, but you cannot sit there and just discount a win. Win is a win, I didn't discount a win. win, I didn't discount a win. I'm saying that. It's something. It, it's something to be con- still concerned of that you're still getting a, a That's bunch the of penalties. Fourth Kendrick, if you don't know, that you are one inch away from either being a colossal failure or a colossal, uh, brilliant genius. Okay, That's the yeah. difference. Okay? Yeah, 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 don't, yeah, yeah, don't piss me off and let me drive out where they stump you out <laughs> and, just, and just drive back home. Just okay. saying, that's that's the beauty of sports. <laughs> it can change either way. That's what Al Pacino was saying in any given Sunday. The the inches are, ah, you you are take, everywhere. You, you, you take a sports mouth, you know. Yeah, he, really. Yeah, that was a great movie. <laughs> great. <laughs> in the uh, but no, I thought it was an impressive win for me because that was embattled that the entire week coming off a butt whooping. I'm talking about where you literally took their manhood away. That's what the San Francisco 49ers did. They literally took the Cowboys' manhood away and castrated them in front of our eyes. And to come back from that win, most people can't do that. In fact, here's a little stat for you. Teams that face off against the Niners and lose, they will lose the next week because they are so battered. And guess what? That Cowboys became the first team to win despite the fact that that was a streak that was going on. The Cowboys will themselves back. And to me, that's very impressive. Also, well, this was a team was that was a- battered. Did you see the injury report come out of the night? Why did you game? see? Why did? Why are you acting like they ju- just beat Helms deep or something? Like they just destroyed? They Helms did. Deep they came back from. They came <laughs> back. Lord of the Rings. The hell? It felt like it. Yeah, like this is Batman after he got beat up by Bane <laughs> and came it back. Is. They climbed the back. <laughs> they were on the road. I mean, I mean so but I'm just saying. I'm road. just saying. First off, first off, first off. First off the quarterback wheeled them to a win. That's sometimes all you need. And the, the defense. The, Mike the, 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 no, yeah, yeah, the, de- the defense was good at the end, but the quarterback and the wide receiver, CeeDee Lamb, and the other wide receiver wheeled them to a win. The quarterback was doing all. He was the leading rusher. He scored all the touchdowns. He made all the big plays. He wheeled them to a win. And isn't that what we've been asking for? We've been asking Dak to do stuff. We're, it's, we're like, it's not, it's not get on let the I team wheel themselves to win. So I have a quick question. What does this win mean for the Dallas Cowboys uh, after last night? Buys them another week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah well, we agree on that. It buys you. <laughs> it buys you a stay of electric. Uh, a stay of uh, electrocution. Yeah, um, because it, it, it gets them to four and two. We talked about this last night. Now they feel good about themselves. They get to clean up a whole lot of stuff that they need to clean up. Penalty. Um, still red zone issue, running the football, um, still um 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 pass defense with the issue. Guys didn't catch the ball, but they're still wide open. They get to clean up that, and then get I'm ready for, and get and get ready for a a a not not a great but a good Rams team, a good Rams team that is uh, starting to catch stride. And 
uh, I'll tell you this: a, re- a little report from the start. Oh, thank uh, you. That's both fine. both uh, Mike McCarthy and Dan Quinn both in their press conference today it reiterated the fact that they do need to clean things up, and some of the things like, for instance, that twelve man um, mishaps and stuff that was on Dan Quinn. He goes, "We're going to make sure that doesn't happen again." Um, but they were proud of the gritty win, and even Mike McCarthy said, "You know, there's gr- uh, grit and glitz, and you know, you know, it might have not look great, but in, in pretty much the National Football League, the foundation is gritty wins, and so yeah. they were happy with you know them coming out with the win. But they acknowledge that this week is about you know cleaning up the penalties and moving on. But another thing is, it, it was really interesting to hear this point. McCarthy mentioned that you know the right before the game, they had this meeting in the chapel." And in that, they pretty much said that they were done with last week. Like, we we're done. We're not talking about San Francisco anymore. We're done. It's gone out of our well, that system. Got, that didn't work. Well, it did. It did work. No, so, yeah, I'm talking about San Francisco didn't work. Yeah, no, no. I'm would, talking about this is right before the charge game. Yeah. I wouldn't not, talk about me. But with, my... We were putting it to bed. We're putting it to rest. They literally uh, made a fire and threw all their uh, angst and whatever negative energy into that, and it was done. It's like an exorcism happened. And they let it go. So that's what it was really nice here uh, yeah. uh, from McCarthy that pretty much all the that that's what a win can do. Yeah, it cleanses everything. Yeah, yeah. After, after uh, that ass whooping they took, I'd be wanting to get rid of that. I would want to get past I, I that. I want to burn it up too. Uh, we got Ed Tovash sitting here in the studio with us. Uh, Bosh, what did you learn last night? I mean, because last night I was sitting here in the studio thinking the way Dak Prescott played is the way that he needs to play in order for us to win games. Yeah, um, he. I mean, if you look, if you look at it, it's the same damn Dak Prescott. Um, people say, "Oh, well, well we, he's a little he was a little better yesterday." Then he didn't throw a pick, or he didn't throw multiple interceptions. And then you know th- that's not even his problem anyway. That's not his mo. Uh, he made it, he managed the game. It got you the W. That's what good quarterbacks do. He, uh, he was basically pretty much Dak Prescott. Um, Kendrick bought up this point. We bought we bought it at this point last night on the post game show. The uh, not going for it on the one play. Uh, I know Sean and uh, RJ asked him about it this morning, but um, do you think Mike McCarthy? I don't think Mike McCarthy was. It, it, they say it's a trust issue. You think Mike McCarthy just didn't want to? He was playing Kellen, and he was like, "Yeah, not today. We're not. We're not. We're not going to have a." Are you talking today. about right before the half? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry, I should have I should have been more detailed on that. But yes, uh, right before the half, when they uh, didn't allow Dak to throw the football, I think Mike McCarthy was like, "Kellen on the other end of the field, I'm not taking any chances today. We're not screwing up today." I think I don't know if it was a trust issue with Dak, but I do think that at that point they, they said it's not worth to fucking uh, tempt the gods right now. Right, 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 right. We're right, right there. Let's right. not fuck around. Let's go for the field goal that we know right before they have. Yeah. Why get greedy at that point? Because that's what oh, he's probably yeah. looking at. Why get greedy? And I oh. honestly agree. I don't know. Everybody's like just counting this. I'm sorry. Five seconds to me is not a lot of time mm-hmm. to get your to get a play in, to get the quarterback to look down across the field and try to throw yeah. it away. It, it's too risky. And mm-hmm. then you might as well just go for the field goal. Take some 0.1 and go, seconds to throw an interception. Because, so I kind of feel mm-hmm. that. No, but, I mean, you could throw an interception. That's the risk of that. Second of all, mm-hmm. there is a risk that, you know, Dak takes too long. Gets You know, the offensive line that, uh, to that point was not playing well. What if Dak has to scramble? That's a lot of seconds off the clock. Mm-hmm. So I mean, why seconds, remember he ran he ran the clock down to get to – No, no, no. Days. I'm saying even, let's say he did. Let's say – he didn't do it. You, you, you had enough time for a play. Eight, no, but you had to make. Here's the thing, Walt. You had eight seconds to not only get a play in, and if it I didn't work, team, I thought they were still the team before you walked. No, in. no, no. They had eight seconds at that point to either get a playoff, get it in the touchdown, or if it didn't work, make sure it goes out of bounds so that they can set up for a field goal. And my yeah. thing is that's not enough time. There's a lot of risks involved to oh. where I, I'm sorry, I want to get the points. I want the oh. points more than anything, especially yeah. in the game that you saw so far is very gritty, very oh, defensive-oriented. Oh. Points matter at that point, oh, so go for oh, that. Yeah. Go ahead, Kendrick. You sound like you want to weigh in. Yeah, well, I just repeated <laughs> what I said I last think you night. You think what I'm thinking? We pay, we pay the quarterback to we, we have, He's the highest-paid guy on the team. He's been there how many years? And you still don't trust him to handle a clock situation? Oh. In eight seconds with two timeouts? Oh. And, uh, hey, if it's five I mean, seconds I'm pretty away. sure Tom Brady and some of the other top oh. quarterbacks have been in those situations. Oh, well, now we're getting to the truth the right now. Now well, we get to the truth. The bottom line is <laughs> he still doesn't trust his quarterback. He's and, 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 and to be honest, I don't think the quarterback trusts him either. 
I don't think this is a marriage is going to work. Well, are you saying the quarterback doesn't trust the coach or the quarterback doesn't trust? The I team? think it's I think it's I think it's both. Oh. I think that neither one of them trust each other oh. right now. But hey, they got a bye week to figure it out. We'll see. Because like I told EA, it w- it was a gritty win, but it means nothing if you come off a bye and turn around and, and spit the bit and losing to the losing to the Rams. It means nothing. So you got to come out. You got to you got this is when you got to start stacking wins. But the good news is. The Eagles and the 49ers lost. So you're one game back of, of everybody. You're one game back in the division. So you play the Eagles in, in um right after the right after the Rams. So everything's in front of them. So the Cowboys, um, they're they're, they're sitting good. So they, they should they should be ready to after the bottom, ready to um, go compete and, and try to take the division if they can. Uh, well-